one, but it's there, okay? And look, <laughs> this is the last totem that came through and it's very appropriate and not surprising at all. It's not only a key, it's a heart key. And look, I'm gonna move these here to show you. Look, there it is. There's a double confirmation. I think you hold the key, Aries. I think it's gonna be up to you here because they're coming. Eight of Wands, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups here. Look at that. There's the key. There's the opening. You have star energy all over your reading today and here has the key returning, a double confirmation. I think you hold the key, I really do. Hi Aries, hello. Welcome to your love messages, love oracle reading, love tarot reading, hi. You're watching me, Chris, of the Tarot Closet. <laughs> I'm happy you are here. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You could, of course, be here watching for that. Or you're a cross watcher. Hello. Welcome. You are welcome here, too. You could be watching for an Aries in your life and find that you are resonating with the reading. If that happens, just go with it. It means it's meant to be. There's something here for you. Could come from any number of decks. We will beginning, be beginning the reading with Smithwaite, Borderless Tarot. We'll be looking at Enchanted Map Oracle today. And as always, we have love messages, channeled love messages, and channeled song messages from your person. Guys, these are general readings, so please take what resonates and throw away the rest. Not everything is going to resonate. There is a lot of energy being channeled here today. Also remember that this is not a prediction. Your outcome is yours. Please use your free will when you are making your decisions. Guys, there are signs everywhere for you, from spirit, from your angels, your guardian angels, your gut instinct. They're everywhere in your daily life, synchronicities. I gotta do that one more time actually, guys. Serendipity, deja vu, repeating numbers, seeing the same animals, so many things. I have a little post on my community tab about angels, but you know, it just goes so much further than that. Okay, let's get started. Thank you, spirit guides and angels. Can you tell us what is going on with Aries? All right, you guys, the Queen of Cups, I will tell you here what's going on with these <laughs> in just a moment. All right, look, you guys. Whoop, look, your person. Your person is coming. Your person is coming. Yeah, hello. Possibly with a proposal. All right, or a romantic proposal in general. They might have already written you. If not, they're going to be. They're definitely returning here. This is the Six of Cups. Okay, the Six of Cups is can it can be a reunion, you guys. And also with somebody from the past. So this is your person here. Now, it could be another person entirely, but this is very strong for your person. We have an eight. That is an action. That is getting something done. And that is the Eight of Wands. That's Sagittarius energy. They're going to come out of nowhere. Look, you also have the Ace of Cups here. Some more coming out of nowhere. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. And this, this feeling that it's like, look, here I am. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I have this offer. Now, this can be a proposal for some of you. You might be wanting, could be vice versa. You might be wanting to ask somebody for their hand in marriage or quite simply a romantic proposal, just getting together, getting back together, maybe having a date. Well, look here, we have the Queen of Cups. Who is this? Is this you? Are you channeling this energy, Aries? This is Gemini Cancer energy, you guys, so your person could also be a Gemini. There's the, the Cancer and energy is really strong. We have the Sagittarius energy. It's really already such an intense reading. Now look, before I tell you, 
more. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Did something a little different today and I pulled some overall energy totems for you and your person, excuse me, cards. These are very small Rider weight cards. Your person is here and you are here. So let's take a look. Oh, I just saw that. So now I have to turn it over. All right, look, the star card. This is you, Aries. Some Aquarian energy. You could have it in your chart or quite simply, you are channeling the star card. You are channeling spirit. You are, you are having some hope here. You're seeing something in a very different way. You're still very emotional. Some of you might have kind of one foot in, one foot out, literally what you see here. Now, this is a 17, this card. That makes it an eight, all right? That makes it trying to get good at something or accomplishing something, just moving and action, the number eight. So you're definitely um, seeing things in a different way, having some new hope. Could be for some of you, you've already heard from your person. They might have already sent you a message. And I do feel like for some of you, this is long distance. But look, if you haven't heard from them yet, it's, it's definitely going to be fast and out of nowhere. Not only do you have the eight of wands here, uh, another action, and just really um, the message is coming fast, okay? But also, uh, excuse me, you have the ace of cups here, which is kind of coming out of nowhere. Look at that emotional energy. Look, 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 look. I feel like this is you, the queen of cups. Gemini, Cancer and energy, okay, <laughs> really strong uh, Gemini Cancer energy here, guys, but you have been in healing mode is what I want to say to you, so I feel like this is going to come as a surprise for some of you. I, I really do think a lot of you have already been um, surprised by your person or they've just kind of come from, they're just coming, kind of coming out of nowhere because this has been a long separation. And here's the other thing I want to tell you while I was getting ready for your reading. I actually saw <laughs> the Six of Cups twice. Um, the first time it just kind of went back in and I thought, okay, that wasn't meant, meant to be because sometimes I will hold on to cards um, if they're coming really strong right before a reading, then they belong in a reading. You know, a reading for me l starts long before the camera is on. Then it came again. <laughs> and then as I was um, shuffling, I shuffled it back in and I thought, well, let's just see what's going to happen in the reading. Well, there you go. Three times, you guys. The Six of Cups, <clears throat> excuse me, is coming down for the third time, uh, really. And just let me interject and tell you that I am having a little bit of throat chakra going on and um, some blocked throat, tr throat chakra here. Wow. Okay, this is really intense. Some of you, your person is definitely a Gemini. I just need to say that. We have a lot of energy here already. But for those of you that need to hear about your Gemini, they're... Um, they're also kind of holding back a little bit, I think. Now, the throat chakra is a Gemini's dominant chakra, you guys. Uh, so that's a very strong indication to me that they are for sure here as well. And um, maybe not showing you how, you how they feel, okay? Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Look at this emotional energy. It's the same as with this, the, the star card with you. Look, we'll look at their card in just a minute. Look, you have your foot there. Um, in the water, next to the water, kind of propped up on a rock. And your other foot is here. You have a foot in and a foot out. I feel like some of you could go either way. Some of you might have already even gone and saw some some clarity and decided that you are moving on. Now, that's not going to be for everybody because some of you are still in it. Look, though, you have the crown on. That is the crown chakra, all right? That is a connection to spirit. Those are spiritual messages that you are, um, you could also be somebody who is very empathic and intuitive yourself, Aries, but you got your crown on, you're an Aries. <laughs> and you also know, there's, there's stuff that you know about this connection also that you might not be getting. There might be something that your person um, has been keeping from you, I want to say. But some of you are still very much in it. Um, some of you are in the middle and some of you are, are possibly going to be getting up here from the star card and taken off. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to put this here on your twin flame soulmate swan. Whoops. Just a second, guys. 
Okay, now let's look at your persons. Wow, <laughs> look, it's the lover's card. Hey, this is Gemini again. Hey, Gemini again. All right, I'm telling you, uh, it's really coming through strong. And you you know what? If, if your person's not a Gemini, don't worry, because we have Cancer here. We have Sagittarius here. We have Pisces. We have Scorpio. I mean, everybody's already coming through here. So don't worry about it. But look, this is your person. I'm telling you, your person is, is coming, if they haven't already, coming with an offer, coming with an apology, coming with something here, okay? I do feel like you were giving more Aries, and this was not a very balanced union. There is going to need to be some harmony and healing with you guys, all right? A lot of it. Um, it does feel like um, this connection has been a while, so coming back together, you've known each other for a while, but and the connection hasn't been as long, of course, but it's been a while. But you both know, look at this coat here hanging. You both know what you are to each other. This is a deep love. This is the lover's card. And this is your person's overall energy here. They're, they love you. They love you and they're wanting to come back and possibly with a really dramatic entrance. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I'm going to put it here and see what else we have in store for you, Aries. All right. Okay, wow, look, right below the Queen of Cups, Aries, yeah, some of you are really um, trying to decide what you want to do. Look at that, right by all this emotional energy, you're not forgetting all the stuff that happened. This is, when swords come in a reading, it can be about conflict, like, or conflicting energies, whether it's from the past, now, upcoming, but this is not a, this is not... Uh, necessarily upcoming, you guys. This energy that I'm feeling here now is this decision you want to make because you haven't forgotten. I won't be surprised if you get the elephant totem. Um, as you know, it can mean a lot of things, but one of the strong meanings sometimes in a love reading can be that somebody is not letting something go. I do feel like you have a good reason for it. You've obviously been very hurt, but you're very emotional for your person. It's almost the interesting thing here is it's almost like you don't want to show it. <laughs> you know, your person after what they've done. And I do feel like that they were keeping that from you as well. But look, you know, we saw the high priestess, you guys, and look at this. There's the moon here, this trusting yourself. And when a two comes down, not only is that about your partnership, that can be about twin flames and soulmates, okay? That can be about duality, just being together and being in love, but being very different, polar kind of opposites, okay? And that can also be about making a decision. This one is wanting to come out for you. So there's something that I, I do feel like you're not, to some of you are not set on taking your person back. Some of you might not even be able to, okay? There might be some situation involved in your life or your persons. This can be vice versa, guys. That is keeping you from your, um, yeah, keeping you from even accepting the offer or maybe your person. Let's just see what's happening here. Wow, okay. The hangman. Who is the hangman in this connection? Look, I think it might be your person. Now we have the eight of wands here, guys. So that is the Sagittarius energy. That is your person wanting change, wanting you back, wanting to send you a message and quite possibly when they see you or even in the message, something really intense like a proposal. Now, when we see the ace of cups, that can also mean, all right, new babies. <laughs> And it can mean a new love too. So Aries, if you are feeling like this is you and you're deciding that, and this is you too, if you're if you're channeling this hangman energy and you're feeling like I know now, um, I've had time to get a different perspective. I know what I want to do. Well, you also have new love coming in. I want to tell you that. Could even be that, that your person has come and your new love has come. Sort of seeing the two of pentacles, I be, won't be surprised if it comes down, but it's this feeling of two for you that you might even have to make, you might have, a, you might have to be making a decision between two people. <laughs> I'm just going to say, just going to put it out there. Um, okay, and also the channeling of your person's energy here with the hangman, of them also just, um, I feel like some of the distance between you that they have, um, I feel like they've really have done some ghosting, definitely some breadcrumbing. Um, 
that they needed to, uh, they needed time to figure it out, but boy, did they figure it out now. Boy, do they know. The question is, do you? Do you know what you want, Aries? I'm not sure that I can um, tell you that. I feel like also for some of you channeling the hangman here that you are also trying to figure it out because it's been a while and things, some things have changed for you. Okay, this is for you. Wow, look, yeah, you're doing well in your life. It's the queen of pentacles. All right, so I think you've been, um, and here it is again, all right? I just wanna put this out there. I don't generally like to go too much into um, pregnancies, but this is the queen of pentacles, so this can also represent fertility. Now, here's the thing. It can also be fertility as in growth. That's a pentacle, okay? Some abundance there and feeling like you've been doing a good job, feeling good about yourself. So some of you might be feeling like, yeah, you know, look, they're coming. They might have even given you a, <laughs> a warning or have written you or called you. Also, I want to tell you when I was getting ready for your reading, I got this feeling that your person is also watching you. So I want to tell you that. Um, for those of you that need to hear it, but look, you have this long, uh, it's kind of in the crown, which we know is the crown chakra, you guys, trusting your messages, trusting spirit. I feel like you're in your, kind of in your power right now, Aries. You've had a rough year. You've had a rough year and you're, you're coming out of that. You're really trying. And part of that is going to be whether you're, um, it's partly why I feel like some of you are here with this two of swords trying to figure it out. I don't think you're unemotional at all. I feel like you're very emotional for your person, but at the moment you're being a little more logical than you normally are. Okay, so let's get another card here. By the way, Sagittarius, Capricorn, energy. Here's the other thing I do want to say to you. <laughs> this is another confirmation here for some of you that there are children involved, okay? And Babies or pregnancy. I know, I, I generally don't like to go there. There's just certain things, subjects, especially for general readings. Um, but you have this, this wreath here. Look at this, it's completely surrounding you here, admiring your pentacle and, and everything that you've done. I really feel like that this is you here standing in your, your ground and look, there's a little rabbit. Do you see that? Okay, look, you have this brown rabbit here. Fertility, of course, <laughs> that's the obvious. But this can also be symbolic of needing to take care in matters of the heart. So I feel like this decision that you're gonna be making, and especially if you're getting a proposal or your person is coming back in here, is a very big one for you. There's a lot of emotional energy involved. There could be some money involved, some children involved. That's coming through for some of you. But look, when the two when a two comes, that can be about making a decision. Okay, we know that already. This there there is a little bit of this. You know, swords can be conflicting energy, can be conflicts in general here, but we have the moon and the two of swords, that is some Libra energy, but this can also be about making that decision, whether it's um, deciding to be with them or not, or even making some kind of compromise. So for some of you, it might involve of children, okay? That's not for everyone, but that message did need to come through for those that needed to hear it here. But look, there's the moon again saying, trust me, trust your intuition, trust yourself. Getting some perspective here with the hangman. Okay, I'm making a mess <laughs> as usual. This is yours, you guys. So, okay, wow. Now we have the nine of wands. So there's some Sagittarius energy. I feel like, yeah, very uh, fascinating Aries because here with the, the Queen of Pentacles, with the rabbit especially, it's this little message here that you might have missed that this can be, um, that you need to take care when it comes to affairs of the heart. And you do have a decision here coming and we do see your person coming. And now we see the nine of wands, the wands being the energy of love. That is the two of you. So there is some more um, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, but especially Sagittarius here. This is a Sagittarius card 
This is love, love. Look at this. There's nine here. And, and somebody is holding one of the wands here. So with the nine of wands, it's telling me that somebody's kind of um, still got some boundaries up and somebody's wanting to get through them. I think that this is you here with the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Wands, Aries, and your person definitely wants to come and get through those, okay? They're being persistent, per, excuse me, persistent, and that can also be the Nine of Wands here. But I do feel like not everybody is just gonna be like that and take them back, okay? There's a lot of hurt, there's a lot of stuff that's gone on, and it's been, and it's been some time. It's a very, um, can be deceiving sometimes with the Six of Cups, you know? It's this innocent, uh, somebody's handing this, the, the cup full of flowers and that's true it can be beautiful but there is this feeling that you need to with the two of swords being here and the queen of pentacles with our little our, our little symbolic rabbit here that this is something you need to think about okay getting a different perspective if this is what you want because look we have the aquarius star card is your energy here that is the the totem that is the overall energy and that's also about renewal knowing something having some inner clarity but also renewal so starting over aries is that going to be with your person is that going to be with yourself have you already started over because we see with the ace of cups this can also be a new love okay so take that as it resonates guys um i'm actually <laughs> done with this deck however as i say that these two wanted to come out for you so let's take a look here all right, um, yeah, we talked about, I actually thought this would come and it did. I'm not surprised by this. Yeah, there's the Capricorn energy and there's exactly two choices, all right? Weighing out some options here. Really feel like this is you. Um, I saw this coming for you and here it is. Here's that confirmation. Some of you might already be uh, with another person or have another option. And you're, you, you, we see here with the Two of Swords that there's definitely a, a decision that needs to be made. You might have already made it. We see your person wanting to come here. They may have already sent you a message, but they're coming here with the Eight of Wands, with the Six of Cups, with the Ace of Cups. You still have your boundaries up. You're sitting nice with your pentacle here. You have your your um, little rabbit warning you just to take a be careful with matters of the heart, okay? Get a different perspective here, which you, you know, you're sitting here in it. You have one foot in, one foot out. Same with your star card overall energy. And here it came. Some of you, that ship has sailed. And some of you are a lot closer. It's a very emotional decision for you. There's that two again. But I saw this and here it is. Here's a confirmation that some of you are really not sure. And some of you even have another person that you're dating now or that might have even come in, okay? We have the Ace of Cups here and I really felt like there was this feeling that you might be needing to weigh your options. And there you go, you guys. Okay, and look, the Empress. All right, so this is not gonna be for everybody, but look, this is a three. When a three comes, can be about a third party. So for some of you, this is gonna be about your person. Maybe they were unfaithful. Maybe there are third parties involved still in some way between you. So that, that can also be the case. And look, we have a waterfall here landing into like a sort of like a stream, a river. Um, waterfalls are fast moving. Waterfalls, um, they're rushing. They can catch a lot of debris. So I do feel like, now here's the thing, it's the Empress. The Empress can um, create, it's abundant. It's There's some more fertility going on. And there's that parenting coming into play. I do feel like that there are children involved here, you guys. Whether it's somehow in the connection or maybe what you both wanted, maybe but what you wanted, either way, um, that's coming through here. But this... <laughs> There's definitely, some of you definitely have somebody else already or they might be coming here with the Ace of Cups. I do feel like this is also your person and you're gonna have to decide. There's a lot of decision here in getting a perspective. And now with the Empress card, we also have this um, love symbol here. You have this, this coat here, which is this knowing here. So a lot of you, and look what else you have here. You have the Scepter, you guys, okay? You have all 12 signs here on your crown and your crown is 
Hi guys, I'm not really sure uh, how much got picked up, excuse me. Uh, so we're talking about the Empress card and I wanna say to you, um, what I was saying when I looked up is we have the Skepter here. This is a the power, you know, kind of the power really over all the signs. And this is a 12 Zodiac um, star signs here. And if you remember, your overall energy was the star card. So there is this feeling that you are really... Um, waking up to something here, okay, whether or not that's going to be something that happened or a decision that you want to make. But there is this feeling also of very much being guided. We have the, the, the crown here also can be a crown connecting to your, the crown chakra, you guys, spiritual messages, okay? So I feel like you have been receiving them, you've been open to them, um, and you're just, some of you are trying to decide, and some of you, as I saw way earlier on, and we see now, your ship has sailed. It's sailed for them. Some of you, it hasn't. All right. And some of you, like I said, are juggling maybe your person and maybe another person, but the strong Empress energy here. Okay. And there's no gender in tarot. So um, I know I say guys a lot. Uh, somebody brought that to my attention. Um, and it's definitely um, not meant as gender. It's a non-gender thing that I grew up saying, but if anybody's offended, please let me know. I'm trying to stop saying it. It's really difficult. Um, and also when we're looking at cards, masculine, feminine energy, but most of you are probably um, regular tarot watchers, so you know that, but I just wanted to put that out there for those that did not know. Okay, we are going to look at an Enchanted Map Oracle card. Thank you, spirit guys and angels. Here we go. That was quite fast. Wow, look, I'm not surprised by this. Jeez, Aries. What do we see here? <laughs> it's a star and a key. Commitment. Look, here's the thing. Um, also, when a key is coming, it's symbolic of needing to, um, being able to see something and unlock something, open some, a door to something here. There's the star. There's that, and look what's here. It's the opening. Gosh, okay, really goosebumpy. I really feel like with the star theme here too, your person could be an Aquarius as well. That's just a given. But I also feel like you're kind of, you're waking up to some of you on the twin flame journey might be ascending and have been doing new things since you've separated. If you're not on a twin flame journey or you don't believe it, don't worry about it. Just let it go. And maybe you don't know. And I am working on some videos for you. Either way, very super strong twin flame soulmate energy. And there is this feeling, Aries, that you know, but you're just not taking off the blindfold and making a decision and really seeing it. Some of you might still need to be in that energy because you're, you're still trying to get a different perspective here. We see with the Queen of Cups, the Hangman, the Queen of Pentacles, kind of giving a slight... Um, Warning so much, just not as much as a warning as a sign that, yes, this little brown rabbit here can be a, a message from spirit for you to just be careful with matters of the heart. And I think you have been. For those of you still here, it's also not a terrible place to be. It's just a matter that you need to kind of... Um, Move on with your decision is what I want to say to you, that you might also be sitting on it for a while, even though some of you know. But some of you also are clear that you want to be back with your person, okay? That's not going to be for everybody, but we have that here. Um, and we're also seeing that some of you are weighing new love with the old love <laughs> so that you can't unsee that, you guys. All right, uh, let's look at your love messages. And I'm always making a big old mess here, and that's just how it is. Okay, we're going to start with channeled love messages. These are direct messages to you from your person. What do you want to say to your Aries? I listen to our song on repeat. This is also yours, guys. I loved you once. I love you still. I always have, I always will. Yeah, that's very much a Twin Flame Soulmate card. I'm going to put that there with the two of you. What do you want to say to your person? I spy on you. <laughs> okay. Well, 
I think I, uh, it's one of the first things I said to you when the reading started is that I feel like your person is watching you. For some, it's long distance, so it's online stuff. But for some of you, they might even be kind of driving around. <laughs> Asking other people, too, about you can also be this. Very interesting, because I really felt that energy. Gosh, some of you have somebody else um, or somebody kind of coming in now, interestingly enough. I was a complete jerk. Wow, okay. Well, they're acknowledging that. For those of you sitting here and your, your Queen of Pentacles and your Queen of Cups thrown, making your decision here with the Two of Swords. All right, these are flyers, you guys. They're yours. At night, I talk to you, hoping you receive my messages. Okay, so there's some telepathic messages going on between you. I play the songs that remind me of you on repeat. I listen to our I listen to our to our song on repeat. Okay, so there's a confirmation for those of you that um, have a real strong connection to music. Okay, interesting. No one can hold a candle to you. Well, let's see, you guys, because your person is definitely coming. Messages in person with an offering, maybe a proposal, or maybe you're going to be offering it to someone, but I really feel Aries. Now, this can be vice versa, so don't, you know, just remember that, guys. I'm just going to tell you the way it is. Um, but sometimes it can be vice versa for people. But some of you are not really sure what you want to do. There's a real strong message here from the Queen of Pentacles from Spirit for you to take a closer look at your matters of the heart. Last chance. Here we go. Oh, I didn't even tell you. Channeled song messages. Okay. These are messages through song. <laughs> here we go. From your person to you, could be the actual song as your song, can be a title, an artist, a lyric, a location, or quite simply that they're sending you this message. And this can be vice versa. So if you feel like it's you sending it to them, that's how it is. That's how it's resonating for you. Love is deep as the road is long and moves my feet to carry on. It beats my heart when you are gone. The Lumineers, nobody knows. Yeah, your person could definitely um, query an energy coming through really strong there. Surviving, 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 and nothing else. Your person is missing you. When I was getting ready for your reading, um, your person came through actually. Uh, I was noticing with the Ten of Swords, they're not sleeping. They're not sleeping, you guys. They're missing you. When all your faith is gone, it feels you can't go on. Let it be me. Let it be me. If it's a friend you need, let it be me. Let it be me, le, re, la montagne. Excuse me. Okay. These are the last messages here. You might have noticed I do not have as many decks out today. I am trying to uh, make the videos Shorter than an hour and <laughs> an hour to an hour and 40 minutes was the marathon recently. So, but we still get through quite a few, you guys. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, haunted by the ghost of you. Oh, take me back to the night we met. The night we met, Lord Huron. Okay. Yeah, they're thinking about the past here, but they're coming. I feel like they already have for a lot of you. And some of you might have people that are... Um, circumstances that are keeping you from being with each other interestingly though even if they've come so this could be a decision for some of you as a not even a new person in your person but maybe a karmic person yeah okay I'm just leaving it there but some third party situations for some of you where the decision you make is really big and I want to wake up with the rain falling on a tin roof while I'm safe there in your arms so all I ask for you to come away with me in the night. Come away with me. Come away with me, Nora Jones. Yeah, wow. Could be, too, that your person even shows up. That's part of this eight, eight of Wands for some of you. Not even necessarily a message here, but also the Six of Cups. Wow. Ace of Cups. Oh, all the times I've tasted love. Never knew quite what I had, little darling. If you hear me now... 
I never needed you so bad. Spinning round inside my head. Sail away, David Gray. Wow, you guys, look. Yeah, here's the other thing. They're really hoping that you choose them. All right, I think this is you, Aries. Just whether it's a new person or your person coming back and another person. It's a very strong feeling for some of you just trying to decide. And some of you are out. And it might be just be from the connection with this person. But there's a real strong uh, message here for most of you, for a lot of you. Wow. Okay. The Tarot Closet Love Messages. These are direct messages from your person to you. I really want to see you. Yeah, just what we're saying. I feel like for some of you, they're going to show up. It can't be the case for everybody. There is some um, energy here, but being really far away as well. Don't give up on us. Yeah, look, it, it just wants to be right here with the Two of Pentacles, which we thought just me dropping, which uh, I saw before. And there it came. It just came through at the end. I'm sending you telepathic messages. All right, there's a confirmation. We already saw that. Look, and it's at night. You guys might have a connection. I'm keeping this top card here. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Yeah. That's the other thing, too, you guys, with this offer. You know, for some, it just is a romantic proposal to accept their apology and come back together. But yeah, for some of you, you might want to ask someone to marry you, or somebody might be wanting to ask the same of you. I am afraid to contact you. Interesting. Okay, I think they have been, but I don't think that they are anymore. Or they're pushing through this fear because they're coming. They haven't already. It's a flyer. You are never far from my mind. I miss you. Yeah. I can see that. Last chance. Here it is. I'm hiding my true feelings. Wow, very interesting. Yeah, I was feeling this way. I, I feel like there could also be for some of you, too, that your person is channeling this, um, this energy of one foot in, one foot out. But I think that they're, they're more in than they are out, but they've been hiding their feelings for sure. But I think you, some of you guys, it's so strong here, Aries, that some of you are really wanting to move on. You may have already, but mostly you're still in it here. Okay? Just not sure what you want to do. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely commitment, decisions. Your person wants commitment here. Ace of Cups, the commitment card. I don't really know how else to... Uh, there isn't really much I can say that isn't being said. Just looking at these cards, you guys. The Six of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Commitment card. This is a Nine. This is Wishes Fulfilled, you guys. Things coming to fruition. Attainment. There's the key. There is, there's the key. Excuse me. There is the, 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 the hole. There's, that's what it is. Somebody's got to pick up that key. And here we are with the Ace of Cups coming in. Six of Cups. Eight of Wands, incredible. Okay, we're going to look at a totem or two. We'll see what comes through. Can be from your person. Can be coming from spirit, guys. Take it as it resonates, okay? <laughs> oh, gosh, okay. First of all, uh, I'll show you this in a minute, but I first want to say, look, here's the guitar. So there is some peace needing to be made between you. Also, you guys have a strong connection to music, okay? That's just a given here. It's very obvious. Um, but this can be, and look, there's two of you here. This can be when it comes down that you need to make peace with them, okay? We see you here with your decision making, needing to make a compromise, perhaps getting a different perspective, being careful here. But we see that there's some peace that needs to be made either way, okay? We have a six here, so this is also about creating harmony and healing with another person, you guys. They're definitely coming through with that message. I think they're coming with an apology for you. I really do. And it's going to make make or break this. If it's possible, some of you are in a situation where you can't. Wow. Very strong. Look, here's the tree of life. And it has a heart, too. This is a very strong connection between you. You know... 
the roots go down deep. So this is a very, very deep love. And we already know that it can also be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Everybody's here um, really at this point that usually happens. But it's a very it's a very deep love. You guys have a lot of love for each other. There's a lot of emotional energy, but this is a very beautiful totem for you to come down. There is some uh, potential for you guys here, big time, for it to be to be the the ten of pentacles, which I don't know if we saw that actually in the cut deck because I have to tell you, I see a lot of cards when I'm preparing and. A lot of times I could just put every single card I've seen out and, and have your reading <laughs> waiting for you because it's so strong. But I put them back and I want to see when things come back. But here's the thing. I still see it. It doesn't matter. Um, it's a really kind of an everything, you know, long term is what they're wanting here. Wow. I mean, this is pretty heavy. Right. Look, musical note double confirmation about musicianship or just possibly the strong connection to music, sending each other music, having song playlists for each other. And there's the three. So I just want to say that it can be that this is a, there is a third party somewhere in this connection. It's not going to be for everyone, but it's there. Okay. And look, <laughs> this is the last totem that came through and it's very appropriate and not surprising at all. It's not only a key, it's a heart key. And look, I'm going to move these here to show you. Look, there it is. There's a double confirmation. I think you hold the key, Aries. I think it's going to be up to you here because they're coming. Eight of Wands, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups here. Look at that. There's the key. There's the opening. You have star energy all over your reading today. And here has the key returning, a double confirmation. I think you hold the key. I really do. Watch out. Um, I'd love to know what's happening in the comments. Let me know, okay? But that is your reading for today, Aries. Thank you so much for being here. Take care of yourselves. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here and for all the support. It means a lot to me. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Take good care of yourselves. Bye for now, Aries.